What is going on guys? Welcome back to Scribe Gaming. We've just had week one, match one of Grand Arena 5v5. Let's do some GAC catch-ups. Let's get right on. Alright, here we go guys. We're up against a man called Dino and he has already attacked by the time I was doing my recording. As you can see, he went up north. He dropped a couple of battles trying to take out my general Skywalker team and then one shot the remaining GG team and whatever else that was. He also one shot both my fleets, no problem there for him. However, as you can see in the southern section, he did hit a bit of a snag. Four attempts against my JMK cat team and he didn't manage to clear it. He did one shot the Django team and he one shot the Mon Mothma team. But um, if you ain't clearing south, you're going to have a hard time, buddy. You're going to have a hard time. All right, so let's check out his defense. Nothing too special over here. We've got Mon Mothma, Geos and Darth Revan. I checked out his Darth Revan speed. It ain't particularly quick, let me tell you that. 305 speed, this is like such a breath of fresh air for me. I've gone up into a new division now guys, so I'm at the bottom of a new division and facing much easier opponents. In the south we've got the Phasma lead first order, SLKR, and we do have our Knight Sisters. Now obviously for me, I've saved two GLs for offense. We both had three GLs. Um, I want to see what's on the back wall just in case he's got some back wall GLs waiting there for me. So my thought process right now is Kill the SLKR, save some strong teams for the back wall just in case. I don't want to go in and throw incredibly strong Jedi with my Jedi Master Luke because I want to make sure that I've got at least a little bit of extra firepower in case there's a tough back wall defense. So I'm having a look here and thinking who do I throw in with my JML? I'm going in with Shaq T, Jedi Knight Anakin perhaps. I want to save Jedi Knight Luke, I want to save Hermit Yoda. Um, I want to save some of the support that I can throw in with uh, Jedi Knight Revan. In the end, I think I decide to actually take out Jedi Knight Anakin and swap him with Gen uh, Grandmaster Yoda. So, let's go see what we do. Yeah, that's the final team that we go in here. Obviously, not a top tier team, and we are going up against the standard SLKR defense. Now, I was fairly confident that this would work, that this would get me the win, um, but I didn't think it would be a nice squeaky clean win. I didn't need good banners, I did not need top tier rewards, because I know that this guy cannot full clear me. So long as I get the full clear on him, we are plain sailing and laughing. So start off with the Aflux, of course. We're lucky here, we managed to get the mass ability block, which is an ideal scenario. And then I'm just looking to try and start gaining that JML ult. Calling in Grandmaster Yoda is normally a good idea because of the additional TM. Hux is stopping that at the moment. My first priority is definitely getting rid of that Sith Trooper though, because he can do some pretty terrifying AoEs. Right now, I don't want to do the spread buffs, simply because SLKR is ability blocked right now, which means he's not going to be doing his AoE. So I'm just focusing right now, trying to pass around that Master's training, um, so that uh, JML can hit his ult faster. So here we go, we're just passing a little bit more, let's go. Who am I choosing? Ayla I'm choosing because she can call additional assists. She also has the potential to stun targets. Unfortunately for me, it just doesn't happen. I decided to increase the cooldowns on SLKR. With Hux still being ability blocked, I thought, it's fine, he won't be able to do his AoE. And then once again, I think I use Shaq's heal here on JML just to give him that extra protection. Unfortunately, the way this rolls out is that Hux has lost his... Um, um, lost his ability block, so then he reset the cooldowns on SLKR, meaning he got that mass siphon off. That was a little bit unfortunate there, or I should have realized a bit more and dealt with Hux sooner. Obviously, his Sith Trooper right now is looking in pretty bad shape, so I'm just trying to recover a little bit of an extra protection on our JML. I think I actually go for the Flux here. Do I go for the Flux or do I actually ult? I think I should ult here and not Flux, but I think I end up Fluxing. Oh no, okay, I went for the ult. I can ignore the taunts now, guys, so I should be able to go ahead and uh, go for that Sith Trooper, but for some reason I'm still focusing on Kylo Ren. There we go. Get rid of that Sith Trooper, please. Heal up our JML. Perfect. I want to try and get some of that protection recovery. Next up, primary target is, of course, General Hux. He passes way too many turns over to uh, SLKR. We actually nearly killed that Hux then. A little bit unfortunate that we didn't quite get it. And obviously our Jedi are all looking a little bit squish right now. So I do the Flux here, hoping to kill a bit more. Uh, we get some pretty good going here actually. Spreading the buffs now with uh, GMY will make this a next AoE completely miss. I'm just looking to try and get some uh, 
additional healing on JML because he really needs to keep taunting. Get the big heal up. What are we doing here? I don't even need to be focusing on Kylo Ren, so I don't know why I did that. Increase the cooldowns. I can't remember if he actually goes for an ult here. I think he does actually go for the ult. And I think we lose a bunch of units, which is very sad. So here we go. Calling in JML. There comes the ult, and we lose two units. Big, big sad, and obviously now we don't have the ability to do an AoE ourselves and um, give ourselves a bunch of foresight. There's no real point in increasing cooldowns because he has zero cooldowns when he's inside his uh, ultimate stance. And this is where I was a bit like, oh dear me, oh dear, oh me, oh my, this does not look pretty right now. So I'm just um, trying to do my best to keep Shakti alive because I don't want to be going mano a mano with JML versus a stacking damage um, Kylo Ren. So I keep on increasing his cooldowns to make sure he can't do anything other than a basic. I probably should have put the crit hit immunity on him then rather than try to uh, call to assist. There we go. We managed to get the win, but it is not clean, guys. 49 banners. So long as we got the one shot, I didn't really mind. Okay, so next up we have got Night Sisters, I believe. Are we going against the Night Sisters? No, it looks like I'm going up against the First Order next. Now, I know full well that Jedi Knight Luke, with a smattering of Hermit Yoda, is going to um, turn this uh, First Order team into a fine paste. And Luke is just such a good hard counter for these First Order units. Immediately going to do the uh, uh, Mass Assist right now. Mass Assist of JKL attacking. And then throw some Master's Training on him. At this point, we're like, what you gonna do, guys? What you gonna do? Um, so yeah, we're just waiting right now, waiting for these guys to start hitting me so I can counter-attack and really start ripping, nearly one-shot that pilot then. Uh, unfortunately, the First Order Executioner is a chonky boy, so I can't quite one-tap him. Obviously, with the slight nerf to uh, Jedi's will, not able to do as much damage as we used to, but it's still plenty of damage to get this done. Working on First Order Officer, Hiding Hermit Yoda once again, trying to make sure that he can't get hurt. I want to save those banners if at all possible. Do the mass assist here, hoping to get full banners. Looks like we do. 63 banners for that one. Kind of makes up for the 49 against the SLKR. So, only one team left now in the front wall, guys. We've got a Night Sister team. And seeing as though Vader doesn't really have as much use as he used to, I figured I might as well use Vader here. Not going to be able to take out a GL with Vader now. So I might as well use Vader to take out some Night Sisters. Now I can't remember if I take a fifth. I do not take a fifth. I do not feel like I need to take a fifth. Or do I? <laughs> ah, we're just going to check the modding on old Daka here. Um, at 242, she really isn't fast enough to cause any issues. This Asajj Ventress here is not even running a speed set, so I don't even bother checking the speed. I know that my Vader is around about 260, and with all the additional speed coming out from his Empire allies and from throwing on the weapons tech onto him, he's definitely going to have enough speed to make some damage, as it were. So away we go. Now this battle is a very straightforward battle, guys. We're relying on weapons tech here. Weapons tech has been massively nerfed now that it no longer does anything but stop revise and provide a bit of TM. But it still stops revives, guys, which is pivotal in a Night Sister team. So all we have to do is get to our first Merciless Massacre, and we're kind of laughing. I'd still like to use Vader lead here, guys. I still think it's more reliable. You get the additional offense. You do a little bit of TMR there as well. Um, so we immediately yeet out Asajj, she's done and dusted, goodbye Mother Talzin, old Daka hangs in there, but uh, she ain't going to be hanging in there for too long. I decide to try and yeet her, I think. Do I try and yeet her? Yeah, she nearly dies, but then she's got the extra dots. Extra dots are going to seal it for her. And uh, as you know guys, if Night Sisters die from dots, it doesn't trigger the zombie revive. Pro tip. So uh, there we go guys, very very clean there, very very clean 61. Uh, they didn't even take a turn. So, easy peasy. We get to see the back wall. Do we have any GLs on this back wall? Ba ba da ba! I said ba ba da ba! Apparently, I was taking too much time talking to uh, the stream instead of uh, actually going to check the back wall. As you can see, back wall is nothing important. We've got a GG team, we've got a weird mute Django team. I decide, okay, GG is easy. Let's go ahead, solo Ray here. 
Um, I had that extra GL for offense. I don't feel like I need to use Ray against Darth Revan. I'd rather use her to try and get a good banner count against this GG team. Uh, reliable as all hell, guys, this, uh, this counter. Ray can just lifeblood herself up, and simply because this GG team just gains so much turn meter, thanks to all the target lock, all the assists, B1, B2, even GG himself gaining bonus turn meter, it makes Ray skyrocket in offense. It looks like I'm in trouble. I'm really not. That damage immunity saves me. Um, so I go ahead and lifeblood myself one more time. You can actually do this with full health and protection, guys, but um, it just depends. Now watch this, guys. Watch this. My Ray is modded for offense. We'll go ahead and we'll yeet out Grievous. Oh, and also B2 and Droidica. <laughs> Look at the damage she's doing. She's doing about, what, 300,000 on a basic? <laughs> 300,000 damage on a basic coming out of, uh, of our girl Ray, simply because of all the TM that that Grievous team got. We don't even have to ultimate in this. It's not even necessary. So there we go. Very easy 63 banners there, guys. Super, super easy. I decide to go back up to the northern section now, guys. I feel like I want to be dealing with those Geos because that's an easy, easy victory for me. The Geos that he's running are not very good. They're all sort of gear 12, gear 11. So I know that my R5 Treya and R3 Scion will have absolutely no problem at all in dealing with these. So we just let the Geos do their thing. We let Treya's uh, leadership do her thing and just get these Geos to kill themselves ever so slowly. Smudgy, do you have anything to say? Would you care to share your insights as the GAC Whiskerer on why Treya is a good counter to Geonosians? He says, Dreamies are a delicious and nutritious part of every cat's diet and uh, every cat owner should have them. Yes, cat. Yes. Alright guys, so we like to isolate the Brute. That will stop him from taunting. And then as you can see guys, the rest of this. We nearly lost Sion there, but uh, he's fine. He's back up to full health. He's got his held by Hatred. So even if he dies now, he's just going to revive. Even the Spy is only gear 11 guys. So this is an absolute walk. There's nothing that we really have to worry about here. I decide to recover some protection because why not? Uh, and then start working on Soldier. He's gone. Sunfac. Uh oh. You're dead. Easy peasy, 62 banners. Nice and easy, isn't it, Smudge? Nice and easy. Okay, next up is the Darth Revan team. And I know that CLS Rebels handles Darth Revan relatively well. It's not always great banners, guys. You usually do end up losing a character. Dropping banners never usually really have max health and protection. But I've never lost with a CLS versus DR once you've got Chupio. The Basti immediately disappears, which is just perfect. Uh, I get a little bit hairy here with CLS, nearly... Uh, nearly triggering a lot of bad things there. Um, but it looks like we stabilize after this, having to focus down that trooper simply because he's taunting. We get the mass blind out, but apparently um, that uh, mass shock cannot miss. And I got very hairy here with CLS. Luckily for us, that blind caused the AOE to miss and that basic to miss. So we actually, that blind saved our keister there. Well, it made sure that we didn't lose our CLS at least. Now, I was considering doing the stun, but I thought, actually, you know what? They can't be stunned, they'll convert it to Ferocity. So just basic, and he dies anyway. Managed to recover a bunch of hit points here. Reset the TM, and uh, we should be good. Pop, there it goes. So like I said, guys, not great on banners, 56, but it's a one-shot. So I decide next up, I might as well burn through my Darth Revan team. I do not think I need a Malak solo anywhere. Remember guys, this guy's stuck on my front wall south. We don't need the extra banners. So I decide to play it incredibly safe and take in a full Darth Revan team. Well, almost a full Darth Revan team against, um, against this Mon Mothma team. This is complete overkill, guys. I wanted to control the scout there simply because he does TM roll. Um, and then I just start spreading the fear. Go ahead and work on that Wedge Antilles over there. I didn't want to throw the AoE here because they'll all just take a turn. So... I think now I'm quite comfortable with doing the A weeks. It's only Lando. So get the stagger there and reset his turn. He doesn't get to do anything. They all focus down on Malak, simply because Malak is the uh, is the uh, gentleman that's gonna be taunting, thanks to all the fear on the board. Throw an AoE and almost everybody dies. It's just like, ah, you guys are not having the best day. Lose a couple of banners there. A little bit frustrating that uh, we had no shock to spread that uh, mass fear lightning thing. And then we just drain off that uh, wedge at the end. 61 banners. Perfectly acceptable, I think. Perfectly acceptable. 
So that is the back wall south, uh, sorry, the that is the north wall in front of fleets cleared, and we managed to get a peek at his fleets. One Empire fleet, one Rebel fleet, absolutely nothing to worry about there, guys. We've got both of our get two fleets for offense, so I've got no qualms in saying, yeah, we're going to roll straight through those fleets. So, taking a look at what we have, we've got this new team and we've got the Rebel team left. So I decide to not even waste time with this one. I think I don't need the banners, guys. I don't need to be banner efficient. I'm not some thirsty guy that's going to be trying chasing top 50 inside GAC divisions. Um, I just want to get the win and get into Kaiba. So I take in a relatively strong Jedi Knight Revan team and I just focus down the Count Dooku. Oh, he's gone. Sorry, Count. Do an AoE from Banana Ken over there. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, what? Who said you could bring back Count Dooku? I didn't say you could do that. Dooku, go away. There we go. We don't like Dooku, guys. He does too much control and counterattacking and all that nonsense. I decide maybe we should take out Wat Tambor before he gets out weapons tech. Um, that Wampa just immediately vanished. That was a Relic 3 Wampa and it vanished in a hit from Anakin. So I was just like, oh, okay, well, these guys, these guys are in trouble. Uh, unfortunately, we have lost a lot of protection there off our Jolie. So I'm looking to try and recover those banners if I can. Go ahead and call him in to assist with the um, strategic advantage. Uh, I should probably do the mass assist here. Land the stun. Yes, I know ja Django is damage immune right now, but really I want to. I'm caring about trying to recover my banners more than anything. Um, and he's stunned, so he can't do anything. He's also ability blocked. I really want that newt to take a turn, um, just so I can kill him. Like that. Perfect. And now I'm trying to see, is it possible for me to gain all these banners back? Turn back over to Jolie. Jolie, strategic advantage. I wanted to land the ability block there more than anything. I wanted to save this mass assist until afterwards. Um, after I've killed Django once. Get the stun. And we're hoping to recover those lost banners, but I think we just do too much damage in the end. Not quite. Not quite. Six, 59. 59 banners there on... Uh, on that last one. We've just got the Rolo led rebels right now. I'm not worried about this. We've got JTR. I'm pretty confident that JTR has got more than enough, um, especially with the handbag bros, to just tear this team apart. Um, what I'm trying to look to do here is just get 60 banners more than anything, guys. A few things you've got to worry about. Uh, there's quite a lot of tenacity on the, the enemy team. Um, there's also a lot of TM. When they resist abilities, they'll gain some TM. So I'm just looking to immediately take out Captain Han so he can't revive anyone. Obviously, swapping turns between the bag bros gives you a, a lot of benefit. Who am I going for here? Cara Dune is nice and weak. Stunned her. Do we do the mass assist on Rolo? I don't want her doing her big AoE. There we go. She's gone. And go for a stun here. Lovely. We should get rid of Akbar Gonzos. Just a little, little, bit, little bit of a roly tap there from my boy BB-8. And the princess does die. Unlucky princess. So that is all the squads dealt with now, guys. Uh, we've obviously already won. We've cleared three sections to our opponents too, and we've dropped no battles. So we've already won the game at this point. But we've just got to deal with those two fleets. So first up, we've got his rebel fleet. So I'm going to go ahead and take General Kenobi in against the rebel fleet. I figure this is usually pretty straightforward. If you go in with the, um, the Y-Wing with... Uh, obviously the ETA-2 and the Umbaran Starfighter, you can actually get lucky and kill a lot of units before they even get to go. Well, not before they get to go, before they get to do anything of significance. So we're, we're just hoping we get some good target locks when we do this AoE here. Let's see, how do we get on? Boop, bada, boop, bada, boop. Well, we've got the target lock. We did hit uh, the Millennium Falcon with both AoEs there. And another AoE, and that actually cleansed off um, the Millennium Falcon. So we can hit him, but there's no point. We'll hit the Rebel Y-Wing with the AoE. This is game over. We get a little bit unfortunate here. If that shield disruption hadn't landed, we would have gained ourselves an additional banner. But uh, there we go. So, straight on to the Empire Fleet now, and we can just take in Malevolence. Uh, it's not really going to do anything. The, the banners won't be terrific. They never really are with a Malevolence Fleet, guys, simply because you just end up taking too much damage. Um, but we try and do our best to at least get a respectable score here when we need that like it's all about treading that line with the malevolence i feel of bringing in enough so that you don't die and um 
and still gain good banners, basically. So I take in one reinforcement. We're going with Sunfac, uh, Hyena Bomber, Vulture Droid on the main three, and we have the reinforcement of Spy to come in, just in case we desperately need to kill something immediately. I didn't want to do the AoE here, simply because that Foresight on that TIE Fighter will give TM to the capital ship, but, um, you know, it probably wouldn't have made a huge difference either way, so I decided to use it just so I can land the Buzz Droids from the Mass Assist, at uh, the Mass Attack from the uh, Hyena Bomber. Because buzz droids are important. I really wanted that vulture droid in the south to stay alive, so it's very, very squeaky bum at the moment for him. If he survives, it gives us an extra banner. So just gotta hope that no AoEs come in and ruin our day. I don't want to actually bring in the reinforcement right now. I don't feel like we need it. So instead, I go for this just to get the cleanse. What does he bring in? He brings in the Emperor's shuttle. Just want to try and get rid of the TIE Bomber. Once TIE Bomber's out, Vader is our next target. Superb. And I don't want to risk giving TM to the capital ship right now, so I'm dealing with that TIE Fighter last at the moment. I do go for the Buzz Droids here. We pray for it. We land it. Happy days. Boom, boom. TIE Fighter's gone. Can we get rid of the Emperor Shuttle before he gets a reinforcement, guys? Can we do it? Yep. We get we did it. So 64. I'll take a 64. We could have saved ourselves an additional banner if we didn't take in that spy, 65. But uh, to be honest, guys, quite happy with the result. We got 24-91 as our final score. Dino over here, unfortunately, could not clear through our Jedi Master Kenobi with Cat, even though he had that himself for offense. So awesome. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there, and I will see you in a couple of days' time for the next catch-up. Catch me on Twitch if you can, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Just giving a quick shout out to my patrons. I appreciate each and every single one of you. And without your support, I wouldn't be doing this today. Thanks so much.